So, it turns out leveling up items takes a long time. Hey everyone, Surreal Canine here. Welcome back for more Disguise 4, A Promise Revisited. In the last episode, we, uh, we continued our assault on the Information Bureau, and in this episode, we are going to continue our assault on the Information Bureau. <laughs> in other words, not much has changed. Besides some people's equipment. Uh, I upgraded equipment on a couple of my dudes. A couple of them uh, leveled up a little bit. It's a thing that can be said. I also appointed my uh, judicial minister. That would be Desco. So now she's going to get a 12.5% attack bonus, which is pretty great. Follow the zenith. Let's go. this have happened? It looks like we need to look over our security system again. Are you the chief? I'm bringing this bureau under our party's control. You should now obey me. Otherwise, we will use force. Chief, you recognize me, right? I'm the president's son, Death Amazel. I'm still alive! Can you retract the news of my death right away? I'm sorry. What? See? Told you so. You don't have to act so surprised. We all knew this was gonna happen. Big Sis is right. We really should have taught him a lesson by inflicting trauma. We printed the article about your death under orders of the corruptment. We can't retract it, even if you wish us to. Not even if that person comes and asks? Can't believe this! Then... Can you tell my father that I'm here? Then he'll... The President was made aware of this situation quite a while ago. Huh? What do you mean? I sent him the video footage of you cowardly running away and getting knocked out. Along with a note that read, if you want to keep this video of your pathetic son out of the public eye, stay out of my lord's way. Welp. That's blackmail! Oh. My. God. <laughs> the way she said that is just... What? Radiation strategy. Bring the advantage to your side before the battle starts. It's a basic tactic. Then... Father knew I was alive! That's correct. He issued that article knowing that you were still alive. It's just like how a lizard discards its tail to evade danger. Your father is pretty good. So... Father discarded me? Don't let this bring you down. Big Sis and Desco are in the same boat. Yeah, kids don't need their parents to grow up. So don't give up on yourself just yet. <laughs> it's it's not like I was in complete denial about this earlier. Oh, just fight your shadow and go. There's no way that father wouldn't know about a news article that was issued by the corrupt government. But, but I just didn't want to believe it. To uphold the tenets of the Information Bureau, we can't allow someone who has been reported dead to run around. We have to protect our credibility at all costs. Sir Amizu, are you prepared? <clears throat> You're not going to give up now, are you? Time to use your persona, kid. Go on, you can do it. completely rely on your identity as the president's son, after all? <sighs> Father discarded his only son. I guess he got tired of me. Since his death, I have yet to take a single human soul. Would you prefer to die? Die? Me? Right now? No, no, no way! Then fight! 
You died once, so fight back as if you were still dead. What? That sounded like you were making a righteous comment, but something's wrong. Fight? Against what? Your daddy, of course. We may have different goals, but we're all rebels from Hades who wish to take over the regime. Who else would we fight? You're telling me to fight the corrupt Armand? My own father? The time has come for you to make a decision, Rascal. If you choose to die here, I won't stop you. If you choose to live and prove you exist, then come with me. <laughs> I... 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 No persona yet. Dang it. <laughs> Alright, so here we have our boss, the Bureau Chief. She already has a magic change weapon on her. And we have a bunch of, uh, a bunch of dudes. The Bureau Chief is an instance of the Professor class. They use support magic, and they also have uh, geo powers, apparently. Hmm. Okay. Let's get started. Let's see, I'm going to want somebody with high defense to, uh... Valatoras, I guess that's you. What's this do for me? Evade, okay. And then again, I'm not entirely sure I need that. guys not fall off the roof. <laughs> Ooh, and we are getting shot by dudes. Okay. He has a giant magic change weapon. Let's mess around a little bit with the enemies while we're here. See if we can break up their formation. Matter of time. Here I come. I can do anything in my dream. I shall elegantly be rid of you. Sweet annihilation.
you reach? I can reach. Here I come. to kill the Skeledragon. Speaking of Skeledragons, they take half damage from physical attacks. They turn into spears. And uh, they have high attack and defense. So definitely use magic on them. I'll be glad you did. Let's get her finger up where she can make a different... That was a weird throw arc, I gotta say. Okay, there goes her teal. Uh, where'd she end up? Over here. Alright, that's fine. Let's have her uh, mega heal herself. short work of those guys. Here Let's I see. Fenric, can you throw Fuku over there? Yep. Alright, so if she manages to hit that ninja, that'll be a one-hit kill. One less ninja to worry about. Thrown somebody up onto the blue zone to start wreaking havoc, but that doesn't really seem like the best uh, plan of action. Ooh, ouch. One hit kill.
Boom. And there goes the Geo. Uh, the. Yeah. Uh, somebody went down. That didn't work out too well. Bye-bye, <laughs> pretty. Alright, I think it is time to finish this off with Fuka's new skill, Glorious Hitter. It's, uh, it's 50%, okay. This is it! <laughs> Okay, that happened. We got some nice stuff out of that. Skeletal Dragon is available to create patanke.hades.org can now be uh can now be made. The chief of the information bureau lost I will never admit that fact. I control every bit of information. Therefore, if I don't acknowledge that I lost, then it means that I didn't lose. Is that your own personal form of denial? You're wrong! It's a fact! The information that I release becomes the reality of the netherworld! But you lost, so you're just in denial. That's not very final boss-like. You're wrong! As long as I don't admit it, the fact that I allegedly lost doesn't exist. Everybody's a politician in the netherworld! Have it your way. I shall simply be forced to destroy you over and over again. What? Until you admit defeat, I will use every ounce of power I possess to destroy you hundreds of thousands of times. Oh, hundreds? Thousands? Don't underestimate my persistence. I'll give you the real Hades treatment until your soul is broken. Over and over, forever! Oh, forever? Wow, how former tyrantly of you. I could really feel the weight of your threat. Yes, I learned a very valuable lesson. <laughs> tyrant and that power. By any chance, are you Tyrant Valvatorius? You got that right. That legendary tyrant is still alive and works as a printing instructor. Uh, uh, and wh what would such a tyrant be up to now? What is your objective? I thought you'd never ask. Right here, see? On the second line on this article, there's a typo right here. <laughs> Please allow me to explain on his behalf. 
What my esteemed Lord Valvatores is trying to communicate to your plebeian mind is... We are the rebels of Hades who have stepped forward to usurp the regime. We will send this rotten corruptment and its president crashing down, bring Hades to this world, and teach everyone a lesson. And I'm gonna be the new president. Desco is gonna be the final boss. And what about you, Rascal? I never once thought about who I really was. I always thought I deserved to be respected and obeyed just because I was the son of the president. But when they announced that I was dead, I lost that identity and realized something for the very first time. I can't do anything. I'm such a powerless demon. I failed all of my tasks. And as death, I've never even taken anyone's life. Yeah, that's right. I'm a complete failure. That is absolutely correct. Good job! You've got yourself down pat! That's an impressive self-analysis. You deserve praise for that. What are you, monsters? Let him finish what he has to say. Okay, anyway, I'm fully aware of all that now. But that's why I want to earn the recognition I deserve with my own power. The measle, the president's son, who used to ride his father's coattails, is indeed dead forever. From now on, I'm gonna carve out a life of my own as Death a Measle. And that is my final answer. When I become a great demon who Pops would be proud of, that's when I'm gonna let the entire world know that I'm alive! Until that day comes, I don't care if everyone thinks I'm dead. So, you will become a full demon on your own, Madam Spassky. Do you promise right here, right now? Promise, huh? I gotta keep any promises I make, right? Otherwise, I... That's right. Otherwise, you will learn the full weight of a promise through severe pain. Will you still make that promise? I can, and I will! I will become a great demon all on my own! Good. That's what I like to hear, Rascal. Now become an official member of our party, and fight to usurp the regime! In time, you will be able to challenge your father for superiority. Well, well... I don't really intend to have to be superior to my father. Mizo has faced his other self. He has obtained the facade used to overcome life's hardships. The persona Shinigami! Tyrant Velvatoras gained another comrade and took another step towards completing his goal. Mizo's vows to part from his old life, only to return as a proud and noble demon will later be known throughout history as the Vow of the Phoenix and will have a significant influence on the netherworld education system. However, at this point in history, another surprising matter still awaits them. Oh, not only do the rebels count Tyrant Valvatores among their ranks, but now Sir Amiesel too! I must report this to the President! Hold it right there! Before you do that, I need you to pay this invoice. Dude! Enter the Ninja Pretty! 7,564 hell that drained into the Netherworld due to the Information Bureau neglecting its responsibility. 53,181 hell for damages caused in Celestia by concealing, forging, and manipulating information. Plus all other illegally obtained profit. I'm here to collect a grand total of 1,192,296 health. Uh, dude. It's worse than a ninja printy. It's a debt collector ninja printy. You! That awkwardly placed dude. You're not a real printy, are you? And the twist is that it's not even a printy! 
experience, pretty instructor with that boss. Reveal yourself! <laughs> you are correct. Not bad. It's an angel! There's an angel inside that Prinny? Could she be the angel of Avarice? That's just the stupid nickname that some demons gave to me without my consent. You can call me. How about Volcanus? Ooh, using the name of a former final boss. I like that. Well, technically he wasn't the final boss, but... He was the main villain! What are you doing in the netherworld? I, I thought you died! Artina! Artina! We were met with a surprising appearance on our path to usurping the regime. Who is she? You called her Artina! What do you mean you thought she was dead? I can't believe some people give sardines a bad rap because they smell bad. It's rather depressing. Sardines again? <laughs> they smell bad! They're like super fishy! Who can stand that smell anyway? Just rinse them really well and you will taste just how great these fish are. So just rinse them off! Until you're content, then just trick yourself into eating them. So you have to be tricked into eating them? <laughs> Episode 5, A Tyrant's Pain. Do Japanese sardines have bluebacks? Don't forget the fishy smell. The more fat on a fish, the more fishier it'll smell. I love how he's kept up with his obsession with sardines for like four entire episodes. Uh, gotta hand it to you, Val. You're crazy.